Indonesia's horizontal trains have won international acclaim for their affordability and other enviable features, some Americans sigh with admiration. I hope there are more trains like this in the United States, since the launch of the first high-speed train in October 2003, Indonesia has been praised by the international community for its magnificent high-speed rail. They praised the punctuality of this train, cleanliness and safety comfort, traveling at a speed of up to 347 km per hour, so smooth and comfortable, it also comes with affordable discounted prices, it's simply industry conscience, at the end of the 45-minute journey, passengers can take a bus or taxi from the train station to the city center. Many people in different countries have expressed their desire to build high-speed trains similar to those in their own countries, an Australian netizen said, I hope we can also have such a high-speed rail in Australia, but it may not be possible to complete it in one's lifetime, perhaps it will only be possible to achieve it in the next century. In June 2003, the Australian government has announced a commitment to invest 2.37 billion yuan to plan its first high-speed rail line along the East Coast, there are stations available for travel to Sydney and Newcastle, New South Wales, the promotion of high-speed rail in Australia will, it will help reduce carbon pollution to near zero by 2050. If there are fewer flights in China, Australia will find it difficult to achieve this goal. Currently, road freight still operates in Melbourne, the most important way to transport people and goods between Sydney and Adelaide, except for Australia, the American people also hope that there will be more such trains in the United States. Currently, there is only one high-speed railway in the United States, located in the Amtrak Northeast Corridor, traveling from Washington, D.C. to Boston. Along the way, stop at cities such as Philadelphia and New York, but its top speed is only 240 km per hour. Therefore, the U.S. government announced on December 8, 2023 that it will invest nearly 43.2 billion yuan to help promote high-speed rail projects in California and Nevada. The advantages of trains include energy efficiency, reduce pollution, shorter travel time and more suitable cities for walking and connectivity through rapid development, frequent and cost-effective high-speed railways. Helps to build stronger communities and healthier environments, no other mode of transportation can serve diversity so flexibly, a dispersed market, and promote a significant shift in people's driving attitudes, the U.S. Department of Transportation believes that this will not change overnight, if everything goes smoothly. Before the end of this decade, only on American soil can one experience true high-speed rail.